Hi everyone, it's Kaylee Ann. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today with a really fun video for you. I am going to be sharing my, or a round robin box that I received. So I'm participating in the round robin that Tracy from Midwest Craft Chat or Midwest Crafty Chat came up with. And um, she had just posted a video about it and asked if anyone wanted to participate and I commented I did and so here I am. Um, so this is really fun and it came in the mail a couple of days ago. Um, I don't have a lot of time to film during the week so it's Friday, it is four o'clock. I just got home from work so I'm gonna film this and hopefully get it sent back out to the next person by Monday. So if you're part of the round robin and you're watching, I'm hoping by Monday or Tuesday I'll have this sent out. Um, I know I can't go tomorrow. I've got stuff going on and so anyways, um, I'm gonna go over everything that I got with you and I'm gonna share the things that I'm keeping. I'm not going to share the things that I'm putting in the round robin though. So I'm only gonna share what I'm keeping. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna jump right in. So I was, I just had, is this it? Wait, wait, wait. I'm already messing up. Can you even believe it? I can. Okay, well anyways, I'll find it as I go through, but Tracy put in a clamshell for each of us that were participating, and I thought that was a super cute idea, and I just had mine, and like, I don't know where I set it down. So anyways, I'm sure I'll run across it in, as I'm going through things. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know as I go if it's something I intend to keep or not, and yeah, we're just gonna get started. So the first thing is this um, chopped up, I don't know if it was a loaf or something, but it's from Destination Wax. And this is a vendor I've been wanting to try, so I'm kind of excited to see this in here. And this is Pink Roses and Chocolate. This is a decadent scent of rich chocolate, sweet berries, and fragrant pink roses. So I probably just, right off, I did do a quick sniff of all this before, but I honestly can't quite remember like exactly what I thought of everything. Um, but just off the bat, I'm probably not going to be keeping this one just because of the roses, but let's see. Can't remember, honestly. Yeah. So I like full disclosure. I don't even like the smell of fresh roses, which I know is crazy. Um, but I, yeah, so this won't do for me. Um, florals give me a headache, so I have to be careful with them. And this is very rosy. And like I said, even fresh roses, just, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. So um, I'm gonna put this back in for someone who might love on it a little more than me. All right, the next thing is this Teddy Bees Souffle. And another one I'm excited to see because I've been wanting to try Teddy Bees. And so even just being able to give it a sniff and kind of like see what the wax is like is nice. So this is Cottontails. This is Juicy Hawaiian Punch blended with lavender and laundry. And I do think I'm going to keep this one. And the reason is, is because, well, first off, I love lavender and I love the Hawaiian punch, but also because the only other Teddy Bees I've ever had came from a D stash and I did not have great luck with it, but I don't know, I don't know why. Then it was one of, it was when I was pretty new to vendor wax, so I could have totally been doing something wrong. So I'm really excited to hold on to this and give it a try and see how it does for me. I'm not typically a fan of laundry, but the lavender and the Hawaiian punch in here adds a little something to where this, I feel like, can definitely be a good bedroom or bathroom blend. So really excited to hold on to this and give this a try. And I'll kind of have an idea of how I feel about Teddy Bees, I think, after I melt this one. So super fun. And it looks like this was poured in May of 2021. So definitely going to be getting this in my melting basket pretty soon. All right. So the next thing we have is the Sensationals um, uh, clam, sorry. <laughs> I'm really tired, it's Friday. It's been a long first week of kindergarten. Um, this is Cookies and Cream, and this one, uh, I don't really get much from this. I'm not really getting, I get like a little bit of a cookie scent, but nothing too crazy. I'm probably not going to keep this one. I haven't had the best luck with Sensationals. Um, and so, yeah, I'm probably going to pass this one along and see if someone else would like it who has better luck with Sensationals than I do. I should have done all the clams first. Oh, well, that's okay. Okay, up next is another Sensationals, and this is in Watermelon Sugar. And this one, if I had better luck with Sensationals, I'd probably actually keep because it smells really good. 
but again because it's not really my jam like the brand I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on because someone else might really like these clams and this is a really yummy scent so I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one on okay up next is this Scentsy bar and this is in spiced ember glow and is this the one okay hold on okay I can't okay I can't remember if this was the super there was one clam in here that was really smoky and I won't be keeping but actually I really like this one I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile and just see kind of what I end up with because I do like this one and I could see this being a really good fall slash winter scent so I'm gonna put it to the side as a maybe and I'll decide when I'm done if I like have pulled too much that's one I can put back but we'll see okay so up next is this souffle and this is from Savannah Blue and this is um, cinnamon sugar uh, and pumpkin waffles, right? Yeah, cinnamon sugar with pumpkin sugar donuts. So let me see, I don't remember this one. This one's super good. I think I might keep this one. Um, I have never tried Savannah Blue before, so I'm kind of excited to give a, like, a new vendor a try. And I don't think this has any dates on it, so I'm not sure when it's from. But, I mean, it smells super good, and it smells like it's totally ready to go. And so I think this would be a great one to start the fall with. And especially just considering that I haven't tried this vendor, and I'm really excited about that. So I think I'm going to hold on. This is going to stay with me. Okay, up next is another clam. And I'm not sure. This must be the brand Oak and Nye. And it's, it looks like it's from their Day of the Dead Special Edition collection. And this is Empanada de Fresca, or fres, fres, sorry, Empanada de Fresa. This is Appleberry Pastry, and I think this is one I also wanted to keep. Maybe. Okay, this is another maybe. I like it, but again, I want to see kind of what I end up with at the end. Because I definitely want to leave some of the stuff that's already in here in here and then put some of my own stuff in so we, got, we have a good mix from everybody. So this is a snap bar from Birdie's Making Sense, another vendor that I have not tried. And this one is You Add Spice to My Life, which is looks like pineapple and cinnamon. This was poured in February of 22, so pretty recently. So when I say pineapple cinnamon, this is interesting. So I don't like pineapple, so I'm probably not going to keep it. Ooh, this wax is really soft. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't get a ton of pineapple, but I'm afraid it's going to come out on warm. And so I want to put this back and see if someone else would love it. So we're gonna put that back, although I do wanna try Birdie's Making Sense, so maybe in another round robin or another like round of this one, maybe another thing will pop up, so. Yay for that. Oh wait, that's not going with me, that's going back. Yay for that as in yay for having it in the box. <laughs> this is a little scent shop from Candles by Victoria. This is in black currant vanilla, and it looks like it's a type, so maybe a Bath and Body Works or something. And this is good. Um, the black currant is super prominent. It's a very fresh scent. I don't really get the vanilla. Let me pop it out of the scent shot and see. Ooh, okay, no, I'm not gonna do that. I don't know why all this is so soft today. Okay, wait, maybe I can. Oh no, it's coming. So this is another soft wax, so I don't wanna like ruin it, but I kinda wanna smell the bottom. Yeah, ooh, this is so soft, you guys. <laughs> I've never tried candles at Victory either. Um, yeah, it's a little too fresh for me, or like airy, I guess you could say, earthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one on. What else do we have here? Lots of good stuff. So this is a clam from Kay's, and this is in Windy Shores. This is Island Fresh Gain, Blue Musk, and Lever 2000. And it looks like this, um, it says melt after 4-122, so it was probably poured fairly recently. Um, ooh, this is good very laundry definitely with that island fresh gain i love k's um if it wasn't laundry i'd probably keep it but just because it's so heavy laundry it must have been so hot in my house today you guys because like i said i've had this stuff sitting in here since like i think was it tuesday or wednesday and it's like really soft today <laughs> so it must have been pretty hot in here so yeah um i'm not gonna keep this i'm gonna pass this one on but i love k's k's is great Okay, let's go with this scent shot next. So this one doesn't feel as soft, so I don't know. This is another scent shot from Candles by Victoria. 
and this is in fluffy towels so this is another type I think this is a Bath and Body Works type for sure again very heavy laundry I'm not huge into laundry so I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this because someone behind or someone coming after me might really love laundry and there's some good laundry in here so it smells good it's just not I don't have a great place to melt laundry I don't always love it in my bedroom so I only keep a little bit of it in stock and I don't melt in my laundry room so that was fluffy towels and other candles by Victoria okay so this is another oops I have to pick that up this is another case this looks like it might have been a custom or maybe just an eight ounce of a scent she has this is in elementary this is cherry pipe smoke cranberry fire and vanilla um and vanilla milk and it says 62 so i'm not sure if that's 62 22 or 21 but this is good i'm nervous though because of the the cherry smoke like i'm nervous what i might do with this one is i might keep like a couple for myself and then pass the rest on so there's some extra bags in here so we can like rebag and things like that so i think i might actually do that i might keep how many are in here there's seven in here so i might just keep like two or three for myself and pass the other four on because i kind of want to try it it smells good i just don't know like i know how i can be sometimes with um uh, like smoky scents but this also smells really good so i don't know i'm gonna put this in my keep pile and then i'll decide like if i want to keep the rest of it or if i want to like share some of it okay let me get that that scoop that I dropped I guess we'll do this one next so this is a scoop from the scented squirrel which I've also never tried and this is called sleeping under the stars this is blackberry sage campfire and marshmallow so another fiery scent so let's see this one's actually really good but I will say it's pretty light and I think this one yeah, this one has a January of 22 pour date, so I'm a little nervous because it's light and it definitely has had cure time. But I think I might keep it because it smells super good. And it, if anything, it'll be a good bathroom scent. So if it does turn out to be light, it'll be a good bathroom scent. But who knows, on warm, it might be like a powerhouse. So I'm excited to try this. I don't really smell the campfire in it on cold. So I'm encouraged by that. And even if it comes out a little bit on warm, that's not gonna bother me too much. Okay, here is another cam, cam, I'm so tired. Here's another clam from Kay's. This is Lullaby and Goodnight. It has Bedtime Baby, Clean Cotton, and Downy Blue. So another laundry scent. Um, yeah, again, it's kind of like the other one. It's really pretty purple though. It's kind of like the other one in that it's too laundry for me. It's just, I don't have a great place to melt this. And I've got so many scents kind of like this for my bedroom. I don't want to add to that. So I'm going to send that one on. All right. I think this was the Scentsy Clam that's definitely a no for me. So this one is um, Fireside Chats. This is Seeds of... Oh, it was from the seed, Scents of the Season collection. So, yeah. Yeah, this one is very smoky. Very like a smoky, woody scent. Not for me. So I'm going to pass that on okay let's pull some of this closer did i like set my oh no here's okay so here's my clam that tracy put in for me and they were in these cute bags with our names on them and this is in the scent so this is from the melt stash which is again another vendor i have not tried this is in zucchini coffee bread this is zucchini bread and vanilla hazelnut coffee love everything about this so I'm coming around to zucchini bread, you guys. If you have been watching me for a while, you know I've gone back and forth with zucchini bread. There's certain ones I like, certain ones I don't. But I love coffee scents, the scents, and because this is hazelnut with the coffee and zucchini bread, I really like it. So really excited to have this. Yeah, this is really good. So definitely holding on to this, obviously. So that smells really nice, and I'm excited to try the melt. The melt is it melt stash? Yeah, the melt stash. <coughs> Okay, sorry about that, my dogs, again. You guys know. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is this little, it looks like it was a chopped up souffle or something. And this is from the Melting Co. And this is a new shirt. It was poured 326.22. Um, this is Laundry Zone blended with something flowers and strawberries. Can't read that word, it's a little smudged. Let's see. Yeah, so 
again it has that floral um honestly even though it's laundry if it didn't have the floral i'd keep it because i love like strawberries and the laundry mix of that is really good but that floral is coming out so i'm going to go ahead and pass that on up next is another vendor that i have not tried and this is Simo Wax Melts. This is, I don't see a name. Sherry, is that the name? Um, yeah, it, it was poured in 21. Oh, Hansel and Gretel's house. So I don't know yeah, like what the set notes are, but this is really pretty wax. So I can't remember this one from when I did a quick snip. Let me see. Okay, this one's pretty good. I think I might keep a little bit of this. This is definitely one I could keep some of and pass some on. So I think I might actually keep a little bit of this for myself. Just, it looks like there's enough if I keep four pieces, like one for each of my open concept warmers, that, that would be fine. So I'll have to get on the website and see what the scent notes of this are, but it smells super yummy. It almost smells like it might have a tree scent in it, like a pine or a fir or something like that. Ooh, I like this one. Maybe it um, kind of, I don't want to keep it all. I don't know. I'm going to put it in my keep pile and again, I'll decide. I'll have to like do a final decision after the video, but so far I'm sharing with you what I think I'm going to keep. And I will definitely be replacing everything I keep with something else. So um, these are the extra bags. So if I do want to split something, I can just go ahead and split it like that. Okay. Up next is another from the Melting Co. And this is in Bunny Rest. This is a uh, blend of Snuggle, Ozone Air, and Palo Santo. If I remember right, this one wasn't too bad. Again, laundry itself isn't like terrible to me. Like floral, I really dislike. Laundry, it's not that I dislike it, it's more that I just don't have a place for it. So I have to be careful with what I keep and what I get as far as laundry goes because I don't wanna have like a 100 laundry scents for my bedroom and never get through them. So this is good. I think because I do have some other stuff I like better, I'm gonna pass it on. But this is definitely like would be a contender for me. There's no floral in it. It's a very nice laundry. So yeah. Okay, up next is another Sensationals. This is iced vanilla cookies. And I think if I remember right, this one does smell really good. But again, just because of my experience with Sensationals, I'm not gonna keep this one. So I'm gonna pass that on. And that is my experience. That is not saying that um, other people don't have great experience with it. That's just my experience. Okay, up next we have, it looks like something from the brand Fusion. Yeah, Fusion Scented Wax Cubes. And this is in Salted Caramel. Let's see, never tried this before. This one's good. Definitely, okay, to me, it's buttery. It smells like um, caramel corn, caramel corn. I don't know, how do I even say it? Caramel, caramel. You know caramel corn, that's what it smells like to me. I'm not gonna keep this because I don't love caramel in my wax but it is actually very good. So I'm gonna pass that one on. Um, this we have here is a pharmacist's daughter poured in two of 2021. This is creamy zucchini. This is zucchini bread, boardwalk, mal uh, boardwalk marshmallow clouds and marshmallow fluff. I like me some pharmacist's daughter. This one's super good. I think I'm going to possibly keep this one. I don't know. My pharmacist daughter collection is huge, so I'm gonna actually put it in my keep pile and then I'll decide as I'm going through things and seeing what I wanna put in if this is something worth keeping for me. So while I'm sitting here, my keep pile is growing, so I'm gonna put these two back in the box for someone else, but they are both very good. So whoever gets this next might wanna keep these because I like those ones, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass them on. Okay, up next we have another K's wax item. This is in Patronus. This is White Birch, North Pole, and Palo Santo. And this one like sounds really good. Ooh, I think I have to keep this one. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna keep this one. And I think I'm going to give back this one to the box. I don't know though. Um, let's see, let me smell this one again. Some decisions here. I don't know, that cherry one is actually really good. That elementary, hmm. Maybe I will keep elementary and pass on this one. I don't wanna keep them both because K's is really good and I want to share. So, uh, let me see. Oh, this is good too. Okay, I'm gonna have to decide between the two on which one I would like to keep. Um, and, uh, again, I could split both of them and keep a little of each, which maybe that's what I'll do, we'll see. 
Okay, up next is this scoop -a bowl and this is also from The Scented Squirrel. And this one is blackberry, sh um, blackberry sugar blossom and, ras and raspberry violet. Now this is interesting to me. I really like this. And I just got through talking about how much I don't like floral. However, because I don't like floral so much and it seems like there are like definitely floral notes in here, even though I don't pick them up on cold, I'm going to pass this on because I'm afraid I'm gonna pick them up on warm and I'd rather somebody else get a chance to have this that does enjoy florals or that maybe like isn't as offended by florals as me. Because I will be honest, you can't smell the floral on cold at all. It smells like raspberry, it's good. But I'm gonna go ahead and pass that on because I think someone else might love it a little more than me. And then last, we have this cute little sample bag. So I'm gonna open it, but then also I'm gonna like keep it nice so that I can return it to the next person like this. But I was thinking, I don't even know what's in here. This I did not open and sniff yet. So I was thinking I might keep all of these and like put some different ones in or something fun like that. Or if there's room, in the box i've got so many samples i might actually make another bag i have some of these gift bags so i might actually make another cute little sample bag the samples are really great um it's just i have so much of them so sorry try not to be too obvious i'm gonna go ahead and dump it and let's see what we've got here okay so it looks like we've got a sample from l3 and this is cranberry today is october 3rd let's see what this is like Ooh, that's really good Okay, I'm gonna keep this one. I'm getting a little hint of a floral. Might be coming from the cranberry, might also be coming from sitting with something else, so. But um, I don't think, like, I don't think this is gonna offend me. I love today is October 3rd and I love cranberry, so I'm keeping this one. That'd be a great bathroom scent. Up next looks like this is from Kay's. This is in Febreze. I can almost guarantee I'm probably not gonna keep this, but we'll give it a sniff. Yeah, that's a no. <laughs> I'm very, like, weird about scents like this. like. If I want to smell Febreze, I will spray Febreze. Does that make sense? So yeah, I'm gonna pass that one on. Up next, we have a little sample from That Smell Good Shop. This is in Tide Botanical Rain. It smells just like the laundry soap. So probably, there. I don't know, I don't use Tide, so there must be a Botanical Rain one. It smells good, not gonna keep it. If I melted in my laundry room, I definitely would though. This is a nice one, but I don't have a big enough laundry room for that. All right, up next is, it looks like a sample from the bathing garden, and this is in Hickory Bonfire from 522. So I'm gonna give this, oh, I have this actually. I have one of these. Yeah, and I don't like it. <laughs> it's that it's that fire smell, that hickory smell. I actually have this already because it came with one of my orders, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one on. I don't like it, it's too um, hickory-y for me. Okay, we have another L3 sample. And this is in Kadai Melts. I don't know if I've ever smelled this before and I've kind of been curious. I'm getting a mint. Mmm, that's good. I'm gonna keep this one. This is like a nice peppermint scent. I don't know what else is in it, but I have seen it before and I've been curious. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. And it's in this little gingerbread man looking thing. So I'm guessing it is supposed to be like a wintry scent or pepperminty. Okay, and then last but certainly not least, we have this in Freak Show. Again, I don't know if the scent notes in this, but let's see what it smells like. Mmm, I'm getting like a buttery caramely scent. I'm gonna pass this one on, not for me, but it could be for someone. So I'm putting five samples back in this bag. So what I think I'm gonna do is like this looks like it's the original sample bag so i'm gonna like i put those back i'm gonna tie it back up and then i think i'm gonna go ahead and create another little sample bag because i think that's kind of fun and i love samples i just have so many so yeah um so i am really excited let me go back through what i'm going to keep and i'm not going to share what i'm going to put in so keeping the clam that tracy put in for me that one smells really good um i'm a uh, pharmacist's daughter okay Guys, I really don't need this. I have so much pharmacist daughter that I just don't, I don't need it. I really don't. So I think I'm gonna put this one back because yeah. Okay, I'm keeping this Simo Melts and I think I'm gonna be a little bit selfish and keep the whole thing. It smells so good. So keeping that, um, keeping this sample, 
keeping this blackberry sage campfire marshmallow from the scented squirrel excited to give that a try i'm gonna keep this savannah blue scent souffle probably put that in my september melting basket i'm gonna keep this teddy bees because i really really want to give teddy bees another try and then what's left is the two from k's and i i think so I'm going to go through my K's and see if I can, like, because if I keep both of these, I want to make sure I'm putting something else of K's in there because K's is so good. So I'm either going to keep some of each of these and share the rest, or I'll keep both of them, but I'll replace them with something else from K's. So I'll have to decide as I'm going through. Um, but yeah, that is my little keep pile. I'm really excited. And um, there's a lot of room in the box now that I can fill with so many goodies. So I'm really excited to put this together. Probably will go and do that right now. Um, this is, you're gonna see in my September melting basket because I definitely think it was poured in 21. I wanna make sure I melt it before it gets too like old and it's coming right on um, fall. So I think it'll be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in that melting basket. Um, and by the way, that's the video you guys are probably gonna see next is the my September melting basket slash my August, like what I've melted. I might be a little late with both just because of my schedule right now being so hectic. I may not get like both videos out before September, but just know they're coming within the next week or two. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will try to link below everybody that is in this. I will, um, I think there's only three or four of us with YouTube channels, but I'll try to link those channels below so that you guys can watch. Um, and yeah, I don't know who's getting it after me. I have a list um, that I can look at, so I'll be able to figure it out. And I, But I'm not sure if that person has a YouTube channel or not, so I'll have to check into that. Um, and I'll send this on, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye!